Hey y'all, how's it going? Gaming Giants back again with another one. This time I brought you a Spencer Johnson map. Today we have from the evil genius of Spencer Johnson a map called Honey. I shrunk the car. <laughs> oh. Now, maybe you've seen other videos like I have, I admit. Looks like a regular town. Just weird little little line things all over the place, just kind of thrown over like ribbons. There's a blue ribbon down there. But it all looks very much to scale. It's not even very big. You see that wall, you want you. Once you go past that wall, you're not really on the map anymore. You see? Kind of just, just floating up there. Just a couple of houses. A little strip mall, a diner, a gas station. There's an inn down there, that red building. That's it. It's like a little neighborhood, right? Small town, there's some swimming pools. Yeah, power lines, trees, it all looks very, very normal. Until you realize... That is a whole ass grown truck. <laughs> Just look at it in comparison. I've played on this map a couple of times. Um, well, to be honest, I had a whole thing recorded and I don't know what happened, but it disappeared. So, here we are again to do it again. And as you drive around, if you get this map, as you drive around, it, the, the scale of it really just keeps messing with your head. It really, really does. Like, you're fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then, no, you're not fine. <laughs> your head is trying to wrap around what's going on. So, without further ado, let's jump in the truck. And by the way, this is going to be, like I said, my, my general exploration vehicle. You know, of course, if I'm doing a racetrack or something like that, I'll get in a car, right? But for just going around general stuff, what I'm going to use. I will be making a separate video. I'm going to run this thing through some tests. And if I get comments before the that video is posted, I will go through the configuration and show you uh, what all I got in this thing. If I'm not mistaken, everything on this truck is off the repository. So, I mean, Spencer Johnson does have Patreon, obviously, I was just looking at the wall. Make sure I will have a link down below so you can go check it out. Um, honestly, if you get it for a month and just download everything and wait, it's worth it. I think it's like eight bucks. I think he's got eight maps on there, so you can get a, a, a map per dollar, and his maps are insane. The uh, the, the, the car core ones are just maddening. If I get some comments before it's posted saying that y'all want to know all the links for everything that's on here, I will try and find it all and put up links on the video so you can build your own truck like this or similar to it. Maybe even throw in some for some options that I don't have on here. Uh, this could be a lot crazier. I just have it kind of general. It's just a, it's like an everyday truck in a sense. Just a six by six. You know, it's fast, but it's not the fastest. It's not gonna blow up the motor. I can drive around and do what I need to. And it'll go anywhere I really have any business going. And it's not slow. I think it tops out at 150 or something, but that'll get tested in that way. Anyway, yeah, let's just crank this thing up. Yes, that's a 12 valve Cummins. Hold on. I keep forgetting. I need to turn the volume down so y'all can hear me. <laughs> okay, got that did. Um, get it? She's kind of loud. There's a house and a swimming pool there. This is just going to be a ride around. Um, I'm going to put another video out. I think I'm going to do a video for like each little area. Because every area has its own little its own little thing. 
And if I do shorter videos, I might get them done after work, especially since work's slowing down. But there's another house here. That's a big ass house. You can't, as far as I know, I haven't been able to find my way into any of the buildings. Well, except for one. Uh, there's another pool on this house in the back. A little playground set, right? We got a house with a garage, a giant freaking garbage can. It's like a four story building. You got that behemoth of a house. And most every building, every little biome in here has their own little track around it. And then there's that gray track that kind of runs around the whole thing. But Spencer Johnson being Spencer Johnson, it's not the easiest thing to just roll around on. So, yeah, you see the corkscrew. And I'm not the best at that, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm really not. There's the Furwood Inn, huge place. And back in the back there is a barn you can actually climb up in that. That's the one building that I found that you can't get into. Um, a little patio back there you kind of swerve through. Like, the road is as wide as a city block, roughly. It's insane. And the curve's like seven foot tall. Got a playground, picnic tables and everything on it. Got some little townhome set up. Yep, topping out about 150. There's even a skate park, a giant skate park let me tell you going up on that on that half pipe that's interesting we got a whole gas station I gotta say right now the prices are about right we'll see how that ages over time right that that let, let's this is why I say the evil genius of Spencer Johnson. Look at that track. That top one looks like a loop, like what's on the bottom. Just, it's falling over and you still gotta try and drive around that. Maybe I'll take a run through that before I end this video. But you got a diner. Oh, it looks like there's track inside the diner too. Okay. There's tennis courts and a basketball court. We got a shop. And like I said, that, that great, call it a track. Runs around the entire, the entire map. So you can go to every building. We got like a little bit of wood line on the side. This is the back of the little strip mall. And there's some stuff to do around here too. I need that curve. I killed it. Come on. I never said I was going to be nice to you. Now y'all understand why I'm not running around one of those little cars. <laughs> it just won't take the way I drive. I have uh, some vehicles. We got a dirt pile here next to it. Looks like when, you know when they finished building it. Maybe they just finished building the building. They still got into it. The dirt pile up on the side. Massive three-story fire hydrant. It doesn't look that big, but trust me, it is. There's the basketball court in the back of some of the houses. Just pay attention to how long it takes me <laughs> to go what should be 30 feet, maybe 40, in between these poles. It's insane. And like from out here, it isn't that bad. Healed it again.
Yeah, I, I got a six-speed automatic transmission in this thing, so that, uh... I got a six-speed transmission in it, so that when I go into low range, which is seven to one, I think. I can do the custom one where I can make it whatever. Uh, low range is really, really low. Alright, so... Just so y'all get an idea. We are going to drag race from one post to the post. And like I said, this is 30 or 40 feet on a regular place. Let's see what happens here. This truck is a good 20, 25 foot long. It should barely be able to go between these things. <laughs> Alright, let's fix her. I didn't mean to break her. Now, I could have made this, um, what is it, uh, a crew cab extended? I could have made it a lot longer with a four door and that. But... While there are advantages to that, there's a lot of disadvantages. I want to be able to get around without getting buried somewhere, you know? And the back end's getting fishy like that because I got the, the front diff disconnected. So yeah, I mean, it's... The roads that you can drive on are, are shaped kind of like the letter, half a letter P. So, there you go. There you go. There's your little look. His price rates, one dollar, one dollar. Like, seriously, you could give him eight. Eight dollars. We all waste eight dollars every month or more on something that we really don't need. And this guy makes some crazy stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to cut out those two that were the big droppers down there. But yeah, he's got a Patreon. Oh, that, that, that's it right there on the sign too. But I will put a link. It's a lot easier that way. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, I got more to show you. I got a whole nother map from somebody else other than Spencer Johnson, believe it or not. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either which way, jump in the box. Jump down there and tell me something. And let me know if you want to see a, a, a rundown on what I got in here and how I configured it and all that. Or let me know if this is the dumbest thing you've ever seen as a vehicle. I don't know. I'm going to edit this up real quick and slap it up on YouTube. And then I'm going to make a video going around one of these places. I don't know. We'll just go explore it and see what's out there. Y'all take care. Be careful out there.